If I wasn't a physician, I would play the piano from dawn to dusk. Michael Frankel found his calling, but maybe not in the way he expected. Well, I started at Grady as an intern. Joined the faculty at Emory in 1992 and took the position here as chief of neurology in 1992. At that time, I walked right into a clinical trial testing the Clotbuster TPA and became one of eight centers that proved that TPA was beneficial and led to its FDA approval and now a standard of care across the country. But what it led to was us working with nearly 70 hospitals in Georgia about how we can share information, collaborate, and really create that community resource where we're all working together with one purpose. During his tenure, Dr. Frankel has orchestrated an entire canon of advances and accomplishments at Grady. I realized there was an opportunity to change the way we were taking care of patients for the better. And I took advantage of that moment and I leveraged my idea that I'd had for almost 20 years that we could build the world's greatest neurocritical care environment with an angiogram suite, an operating room inside it. The Marcus Stroke and Neuroscience Center team has helped thousands of patients who would not otherwise have had access to cutting edge therapy. In fact, the international standards for stroke care have been rewritten based on the work of Dr. Frankel and his team. But it takes more than research and equipment to lead a world-class stroke center. One of the biggest things that Dr. Frankel has done has been, um, has been going out to recruit our excellent neurointerventionalists. He recruited Dr. Nagara and Dr. H Dr. Hausen. They really chose to come here based on his vision and his dream for what this could be. I would say that his administrative skills and his personality were actually what really transformed stroke care locally and, and, and globally. One of our success stories clearly has been the great people we've attracted to be a part of our team. That was in large part due to the wonderful gift that we were given by Bernie Marcus to create the world's greatest acute stroke treatment center. What Mike has done is actually train people there. Mike is not the guy that operated on all of these people, but Mike is the guy that made it happen and it happens every day, seven days a week. And while you're at this function, I know that somebody is coming in by, by helicopter and being put into that operating room and that their chances of survival are so much better because they came to the stroke center. It's really been an amazing journey and one that I'm extremely proud of. The number of people that we've helped, uh, the number of lives saved, the number of people who have avoided disability from their stroke is in the hundreds if not thousands now. One of those patients saved by Dr. Frankel and his team was Coca-Cola executive pilot and Air Force One commander Scott Goodwin. At 48 years old and just one week on the job at Coca-Cola, Scott suffered a major stroke and was airlifted to Grady from a local referring hospital. If Dr. Frankel had not founded this center and, and this cutting edge technology and, mm -hmm. and treatment of strokes, I wouldn't be here. And he didn't know that I'd been on Air Force One. I was flying on September 11th with President Bush and he said, wow, and here's this brilliant surgeon that was impressed with me. I was like, that's pretty cool. Their goal was to get Scott flying again. And even if it did take a couple years, year three, when you're still doing dealing with the FAA, there were times when you had to call them. I think you had to call Dr. Frankel yeah. and can you help me out here? He said, you should be flying in no time, no reason at all. Because at that point, everything was functioning normally. I'd gone through physical therapy. And he said, I would fly with you. I see the commercials and the billboards, Grady saved my life, Grady yeah. saved my life. What influence I have on so many patients, it's not just the ones that are right in front of me, but it's those physicians that I've trained, that I've tried to teach how to be great clinicians and focus on what matters. And those people, I think, are really an extension of who I am. And that makes me the most proud. Michael Frankel chose medicine over music, but it doesn't make him less of a virtuoso. He may have wanted to be a piano man, but he'll just have to settle for what he is to Grady, a rock star. Thank you.